Hello and welcome back to the Critically Clueless. We are, of course, picking up our playthrough of Goldie 1.05. And at the end of the last episode, I believe, we went to war. Um, and I thought Capone had actually popped into this war with me uh, on having a little inspection on this war. He did not. They were friends, but... Uh, he didn't want no part of this war, which is good for me. Uh, so we are just up against the one. Um, we also have Goldie's mission to look at. Uh, so we need to go talk to Salt. I think we're going to do that now. Um, and then start taking over some rackets. What brings you to my neck of the woods again? I have heard bad news. The collectors are after your sister. Oh, well, that's sad, isn't shit? Very sad. Um, I will protect her. Uh, so we need to meet with Sol's Sol sister. Where is the sister? Uh, we're going to auto-resolve this. They're obviously attacking my rackets. I don't really care about the rackets. They can have as many as they want. All that matters is that I find uh, his safe house. And the more interaction I have with him, the faster I will find out. Where is this? There he is. So we need to fast travel. A bit of fast travel. I think we was in Chinatown. Probably a good idea to try and remember where we were. Uh, because I'm pretty sure we had quite a lot of uh, rackets around Chinatown. So... <clears throat> Want to take them out when we get a second. There we go. So we need to go to our safe house. I'm on. Moving. And where would she be? She's in my office. There we go, have a little chatty chat. Begin combat. Uh, you must be Goldie. Look at you. Who else would be would you be? Uh, okay, Ducky. That's very sad. Why are we going to war? We will protect her. Buildings under attack again, so we still got him going at it. I should really have a little look see where this squad actually is because um, that is the fourth racket, I believe he's just taken over very quickly. Certainly. Uh, return to Sal. Have a little look. Can we see this Roman squad? Yay or nay? I don't think so, you know. And I'm not sure where Sal is either. Now, we was in Chinatown. That's where we were. Um, where is Chinatown? There it is. There he is. He's still in Chinatown. I still don't see... I don't see anyone wandering around. Any death squads or scout squads? Haven't seen any. On it. Uh, so our mission is up here. Let's go return to him. I could have killed his sister. That's that's a bit sad, isn't it? Poor Sal. He would have been really sad. I'll just stick it on water. We got 25k for that and a reward. Is that the end of it? Is that the end of it? Honestly, I don't know. Um, 
But what I do know is we need to be attacking some rackets, so let's get on with that. That was, what, the second big-ish payout we've had? We had, hmm, we had 15k a while ago um, in a mission, and we just received another 25k, so... We've got 40k, I guess, big sums. I don't think, I, I think there's more. I, that seems a little short to me. Seems a little light. Easy little win there. Uh, pop that into another brothel. I wonder how we're doing with the synergies. Obviously, we haven't even looked at them yet. And we're almost through the entire playthrough. All right, boss. But there we go. That is a another one done. Um, what are we looking at? Empire overview. There we go. There's the synergies. So, in Chinatown, we already have a full house and a five of a kind. We don't have a hotel. Um, we do need a two pair and a three of a kind and a straight. And that will boost up our income in this city um, if we do get them. So, the other thing with the synergies is. Is that let's say for instance we have ourselves a three of a kind let's have it be three brothels well those three brothels are then removed from you know so those three brothels can't go towards a two pair for instance and um, that would have to be another two brothels and then say uh, two speakeasies for instance but yeah so we're doing okay I'm pretty sure we're probably better on a couple of the other um, Let's see, do we actually have, I don't think we do have a good one. We have a straight and a full house over in north side. Yeah, it's something we could look at, I guess. Look at doing a bit of a better job on, you just unfortunately, even though this mechanic's in the game at the moment, um, it's just not something I need to look at, you know what I mean? It's not that I don't want to. It's just, as you can see, I already have $240,000. Um, you know, and I'm ticking over in the plus. I, it's, it's not something I need to really look at. You know, I've got a gangster squad. It's probably, the, you know, some of the best gangsters in the game. Um, so, yeah, it's just something, not something I need to do. Hmm. There is somebody still around somewhere, though. Or all the way at the other side of the street. That's where they are. Forty-five percent chance of hitting. Really didn't think that was actually going in anyway. We got sixty-three. Probably a miss. No, we did get a hit. And we got another shotgun character. 34% chance. And another miss. Too far away. Too far away. We need a good old rifle character is what we need. Not even going to run forward. Come on. You're making my job hard. Too far away for Goldie, unfortunately. And I think everyone else is going to be about the same. It's just going to be too far away. I should have moved Cristiano forward rather than shooting. Making things awkward for myself. Do I not have a single rifle character? Hmm. May have to change that. Rifles do come in real handy. I've got two people running shotguns. Okay, so that's done. Yes. 
I wanted to make sure I didn't bring in the um, the guard across the street, actually. That's right. Good. Good. And all of these little properties, I should just be able to auto resolve. Um, I couldn't see why I wouldn't. Oh, there's four in here. But still, it's 79% chance. I think we got this. We got ourselves a purple submachine gun from that. That's pretty cool. And we're going to turn it into a hotel as I remember we needed a hotel. And there we go. We got our first hotel in this neighborhood. Unlocks a little synergy for us. And then we will take over this as well. Again, it should just be a simple resolve. We've got 90% chance of winning. I think we got it in the bag, really. Take it over. Leave it as a casino. There we go. So I think we have... Oh, hello. We had a couple just walk straight on up to us. Cristiano's go with his trench shotgun. Absolute beast of a shotgun. I'm going to hurt our own faction member there. Bit of annoyance. And can we finish him off? We did. Check out Baby Monks finishing. Oh, there's one more. Where is he? There's one more that's got caught up. Where is the random? He is down there. That's annoying. There must be a racket right there that I didn't notice earlier. And there's still one more by the car. Can we hit him from here? 89%. Nice. Not going to make our job easy on run towards us, unfortunately. Uh, can Goldie finish it? I think she can. There we go. She's done it. That's all done. I do. That's right. Oh, I think that would be all of the minor league factions um, that don't like me as much right now. But we are up to 700 notoriety. Um, so we can hire anyone we want now, which is good. Uh -huh. Obviously, the max is 1,000. Oh, I think everyone's healed. Is everyone healed? No. Wait. God, help it's me. really Christiana that needs a little bit of health. There he is. There we go. He's all better now. So now we can finish off this one. I think I'm going to turn this into either a casino or a brothel. I'm not sure what this is right now. I think it is a casino. Take over. Leave that as a casino. And now, if we turn one more into a brothel, I believe we should have our two pair um, to go into our synergy. 
Or, of course, we could take over another casino. And then we'll have our three of a kind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all these. Let's finish all them off. Where do they think they're going? To attack one of my properties, most likely. Um, so we have a brothel just up here now. This is a medium racket, so let's see how many people are actually going to be inside here. You enjoyed yeah. the show? Yeah. Certainly. That's right. Hot damn. Only three, so we can actually just auto. There we go. And we will leave that as a brothel. And like I said, that should now be one of our extra synergies. Ooh, we found a safe house. That was quick. That was very quick. We'll look at our overview. We definitely got our, our hotel. But it doesn't look like we've got our um, three of a kind of shit. Maybe the brothel didn't count. All right. I'm thinking of the, the... I think it was just before gotcha. I started looking at the synergies. I'm pretty sure that was a brothel that I took over. I could be wrong, though. All right. Let's have a look-see at where this safe house is. There it is. Right opposite a, another racket as well. So it's going to be a, you know, a little bit of a tough battle um, outside. To be fair, I think the outside fights, outside the uh, safe houses, they honestly can be a bit tough. Let's try and avoid this three on the right. Cristiano got his one off as well, which is good for us. And we should get first go. So we've already got one bleeding. Uh, and we finished off someone else. I'm going to pop Cristiano up here. He is a little bit low on health. I need to remember to uh, fix him up. If not in this fight. Oh, hello, baby monks. You are nowhere. We're in Cloud Cuckoo, mate. Oh, nice. We got two crits with that. So I want to really focus on these guards outside the uh, the safe house first, as they are the they've got the most health on them. Um, they probably have the better gear, and they've got the best armor. There we go. We finished one off. Oh, we've got the guy behind us as well. I didn't realise that. Baby Mark's got about to go at him. I'm very surprised we managed to get the, uh, the safe house reveal so quickly. That was a bit of luck there. I wasn't expecting to do another boss this, uh, this episode. And he's bleeding as well. So all we need to do really is one touch. And regardless of what this does, he should be dead. They killed him anyway. Nice. Right, so monks, can you... No. Put monks back. He's in the middle of the open, but he's got a huge amount of health, so he should be fine. wanted to knock off a tiny bit of health. I knew it was going to be very effective. Oosh. Wasn't expecting that pistol to be that expect effective. Got two high crits on that then. On. From Diana. Nope, don't need it. Nice, 
nice. Another one taken out. Definitely need to heal before we get into this safe house. Dottie's down. She's not dead, but she's down. Get me the stitches. I'll do it myself. Luckily, she was in a lifeline. Moving. I'm here. Oh. Bene. And that's well. He didn't really need to reload. So I kind of want to waste his turn real quick. So I wanted, there we go. I wanted to pick Dotty up before we finish this off. I'm on it. I'm fine. We only got a forty nine percent chance. Let's see if we can pop a little bit forward. Maybe pop that up a little bit more. Oh, we've gone out of range now. He's just out of range of the explosive. Oh, that's annoying. I think we're gonna give him another shot, aren't we? Dotty, you missed all three. Come on now. You can do it. There we go. One tap. Now, luckily for us, no one went to hospital. I was fully expecting uh, one of our uh, gangsters to end up in hospital then. I think Cristiano... I thought Cristiano was injured anyway. But apparently, maybe we just healed him. I don't know. I swear he was injured. I know Dotty went down, obviously. That wasn't cool. I'm going. There we go, monks. He didn't want to be collected then, did he? All right. God, help well, this playthrough is please. being very easy on us. I mean, we've lost two gangsters. One of them, sheer fluke. The other one, meh. We kind of brought him to die. Um, and we are on our second to last gangster... Oh, second to last boss right now. Oh, baby's friend's in here. So if we end up killing the friend, which we will, there's a small chance that baby um, will leave. It's kind of a big chance, actually. The other thing is, though, is that if they do leave, they will come back. Oh, and I've just noticed... Somebody didn't heal Dotty. So Dotty's going in this fight. Meh. Needing a bit of a bit of help. And again, another reason why I just love Cristiano. Such a good character. Now where is I think we're gonna Let's move up here. Move up. Certainement. Oh, she's already injured. That's interesting. Let's kill her off straight off. There's a chance, obviously, that we get panic on the other uh, guards. So that helps us out. Underboss is right by the door. And we're going to move Diana as well behind a little bit of cover. Got a nice little crit. Only 23 damage though. Obviously has very good body armor. There we go. There's the boss in the office. I think most of the guards, yeah, they're right at the back. Um, and there's obviously their like, little side room as well at the back. 
Let's see if we can pop a band aid uh, on Dottie. I'm fine. That will obviously give her health over time, over the moves, which is good for us. Oh dear. Oh no, that is not good, is it? Luckily for us, Cristiano's hair trigger got activated and he's going ham on everyone. Just killed one at the back. Just killed the underboss then. Well, that worked out well for us. Now, Dottie's on the floor. She's like, oh no, I can't be having this. So she has to take a little nap. Yeah, uh, let's move Williams up here in the corridor. I think she can handle herself. Yeah. Sometimes if you move someone into that corridor, a lot of those guards at the top, they kind of funnel down and into us and focus on them. It works sometimes, it doesn't work all the time. Can be helpful though. Kind of separate them up a little bit, you know? Um, so it's our turn. We're going to use our boss ability. We go one, two, three. We do very rarely use it. We managed to actually hit four people with that as well, which is nice. Oh, where is he going? Diana's turn. Um, let's focus on a boss, I think. Especially as he's decided to run straight out into the open. Not really sure what he's doing there. So he needs to be executed. Notice how he's like kind of sitting up. So again, if I kill him now, or if I end this fight now without finishing him off, um, I will not get the unique weapon from that. And as you just saw the first time this playthrough, um, we ha we put a bandage on when Dottie was alive last. She got killed by an explosive. She was downed, um, and the bandage picked her back up. One reason why I absolutely love the bandages. They are awesome. But instead of going for a kill, considering how many people are left, I should probably use some meds. I'm fine. We do have some TNT. Can we throw it up here? We can hit two if we do. So we'll do that. Hit two rather than one. Shit. And missed a shot on Williams. Naughty, naughty. Kind of wasted your turn. A lot of people are panicked. Some people are kind of uh, missing their shots. I don't think panic... Uh, makes them miss their shots anymore. Not that I've seen anyway. And just because it will look cool, we are going to get Goldie to execute the boss. Yeah, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Uh, can we finish anybody off? Apparently. We can only hit two people, so that's a no. Oh, Diana can finish someone off though. Thank you very much. And Monks can also finish someone off with his machine gun. Nice. 
And of course, our bandage still working for us. Shame that wasn't a crit. Pro could have possibly killed her then. Going on Overwatch again. No one even hit the boss. No one hit Goldie. She's standing in the open and no one shot her. Seems a little bit silly. Oh, we need to uh we need to reload. This is excellent. And baby monks is set up perfect. Oh no, we attacked the wrong person. We attacked the one bleeding out rather than the one standing up. Well that's annoying. I think that's the last one, that one right at the back that just keeps going into Overwatch for no reason whatsoever. And there we go, we got the Silencer, which is the unique um, weapon for this, for this boss, and it's complete trash, really don't like it. You only have a 25% chance to inflict bleed, so it's just a no-no, just a no-no. I mean, bleed's amazing, but you kind of want it to be more than, you know, one in four. There we go. Another boss is done. Uh, leaving us with just one boss left, Capone. And that should be a good little war. Um, monks didn't leave either. Uh, remember at the beginning, monks kind of kind of said that he might leave, you know, if we kill his friend. Well, we killed his friend and Monks didn't leave. But I do remember what we said. We said that if it went well, and it's gone pretty well, um, that we would actually fire another gangster, put in the next boss fight a little bit tougher for us. So because of that, I think we're actually going to fire Monks. Boosh. Leaving us with five. Can this five take on Capone? Knowing that Capone already has R. Boosh. It's going to be tough. I reckon it's going to be tough. Don't forget, we are on boss difficulty. So one mistake, two mistakes, and that could be it. We could be done. However, Goldie is an absolute tank with her crazy health. Um... And it's not as if we don't have a very strong four gangsters with us. I'm fine. But before we do start the war, and we will start the war, I'm fine. we've got a mission to do. Now where is it? How close is it? It's actually right here. We've got to meet up with Miss Brown. And we are on $250,000. That is crazy. We have $2,000 a week coming in as well. You have a gift for me. Well, what exactly is inside? Hey. I'm going. I don't mm -hmm. think we've got to follow Miss Brown inside into the racket. And we can't. Okie dokie. I don't know if we're going to war. Hold on, let's try this one more time. We don't own the racket, you see. 
Ah, there we go. They, see, the game didn't want us to go in. Just wanted to fight. But we managed to get in. Cliff, they found you. Deal with the collectors. Hmm. Certainly. It's going to go for a fight. Is this the last one? <laughs> that is random. We only had a 66% chance of winning. So, I was, you know, it's under 70%. Normally, around 70% are quite happily uh, also resolve anything below that. I don't really want to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit? Nah. I don't think so. Random collectors, gotta say. Um, who should we finish off? Should we try and finish off this one? I think I'd like some more explosives for the uh, final boss fight. And that's what I'm thinking. I can't stop thinking about Capone. I think some explosives will help even the playing field a little bit. We never did actually get a demolition expert, did we? I just realised that. I've got to say, these uh, collectors aren't very intimidating. You We're up to... Yeah. Uh, 751 now. Certainly. Final little chat. Fine. All debts are cleared. Return to Cliff. Yeah, we keep him around. And the mission's complete. Um, Seem to have maybe intimidation perks gone up with that. That's what that means. And we got another um, $20,000 as well. I think there may be a little bit more to this mission, you know. Um, maybe I'll try not to do Capone so quick. Um, but okie dokie, guys. We are going to leave this episode here. Um we've got some more protection money to get as well because well we always need a little bit more money but yeah we're going to leave this here and in the next episode we are going to try and find a location of capone's safe house well we're going to have to go to war with him first and um, but then after that we're going to try and find this location and uh, possibly end this playthrough here and now but until next time guys i'll see you later